So you want to play like England international Rachel Daly. We're going to show you how. Now, this is a very, very simple drill that I do with Rachel. She's got her back to the goal. I cut the 18 yard box into four zones. Zone one is the six yard box. Zone three is between the six and the 18. And that is where most chances occur. Zone two is the outsides. So between the six and the 18 on the sides, zone four is outside the 18 yard box. Now with Rach, most of her chances fall in that zone three. So what we're trying to do here is have Rach with her back to goal, and I'm gonna play that ball into her feet. She has to turn, dribble towards zone three, cut inside, and finish with the inside of her foot. So the focus on this daily drill is to get a good first touch, and we want you to turn your defender, and you're immediately driving towards the goal. Now, when you're driving, we always preach about a separation touch, which is a touch long enough away from yourself, but not too close to, to the defender. So with a separation touch, you can actually get explosive. You're then gonna do an inside chop or an outside chop. We preach the inside chop because it's a fake shot. So you're gonna look up like you're gonna hit the ball with your right foot, and then you're gonna cut inside and curl that ball into the top corner with your left foot. Difficult to do. So the separation touch is one of our specialties. And it's, it's one of these things where everybody thinks that you've got to keep the ball close to yourself. When if you watch the top players in the world, like your Messi's, your Martyrs, your Tobin Heath, what they do is their spatial recognition is second to none. And they're always looking up. Um, Jesse Fleming as well is, is phenomenal at this. So what they're seeing is a pocket of space. All of the separation touches is the exploitation of that pocket of space. So it could be two yards, it could be three yards, it could be four yards, which is why we've got to work at you guys putting different weights on the ball. Don't think you have to keep that ball tight to your feet all the time, because you don't. If you've got speed, but you can control your separation touch, you weight it perfectly, that's even better. So you want to really change that separation touch up. Now, from a forward perspective, the other separation touch is, it's like a yard and a half to get away from your defender and shoot immediately, like boom, boom. And that's another separation touch. So this drill is great because you can do both of those separation touches.